Hey guys, it's Wednesday, so you know what it is. Pop Dust Presents time, and today is a super special one. We've got Lauren Davidson Hi. here. How you doing? And her guitarist, Christian. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> Both are looking super slick in their leather jackets. Thank you. Fun fact, it's summertime. It is summertime, but, you know. You gotta look gotta cool. Gotta look cool, you gotta do it. And speaking of weather patterns, you have a new single called Pouring Rain. Yes, I do. Are you gonna give us a little taste of that? I know yeah. she's planning on playing music. I think that's what they brought the guitar for. I think so, yeah. No, we're so excited to play it for you. It came out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we released it with Skyfall Sony Music, and I can't wait to share it with you. So, tell us a bit about that song. All right, well, uh, this song I wrote a long time ago with my father, actually. We, we write a lot together. And um, it was just kind of the idea of walking through like the park and kind of getting lost in your head as this rain is coming to kind of just help yourself get over a heartache, you know, a breakup. So it's or, like healing. I, yeah, definitely. And and you're from New York City, right? I am from New York City. So which park? Well, for me, like in my head, when I think about it, it's Central Park. So I li used to live on the Upper West Side and I live on the Upper East Side now and I used to walk back and forth across town through the park a lot. So in my head, I just kind of pictured that walk that I used to take, but with the rain coming down. <laughs> That's all very cool and valid, but Prospect Park is better. Oh, no. Brooklyn. Um, okay. I was actually born in Brooklyn, though, so I can't really fight with you about that. In the park? No, <laughs> in the hospital. Oh, okay. That was much fun, I know. We're not all no. as fancy as you getting born in hospitals. Okay. <laughs> I was born in New Jersey. There are no hospitals I grew there. up in New Jersey. You, where are you from? Well, I was born in Brooklyn, but I grew up in Freehold, New Jersey. But also the Upper West Side. Well, I moved back to New York a few years ago. Oh, and that's when everything changed. It is so true, actually. Really? Yeah. So, you've always been writing with your dad. I think you started music around 10 years old? I did, but I actually started doing theater. And then as I got older and moved to New York, I kind of started singing with bands and writing music and then started this whole project of being an artist and playing shows with my band and it's kind of taken off so that's really cool. That's way cool. Um, and so this song just came out a couple weeks ago and are you guys like touring to support it? Um, we are playing a lot of shows, a lot of regional shows to support it um, and we're kind of coming around to a bunch of different places like here and playing it for you yeah sorry. um but we just played a big show actually in my hometown of freehold last weekend um we opened for maddie and tay i don't know if you're familiar with country of course. music but i definitely am yeah. maddie and tay they're huge fans of the show Thank oh you guys. yeah that's awesome so yeah so we just opened for them and then the next day we played the big haskell invitational at mammoth ocean park that was a tongue mammoth, twister mammoth raceway park in oceanport there we go and then um, we're gearing up to play a show in Asbury Park next month. We're opening for um, a country duo called Walker McGuire. Walker McGuire. Yeah. This month. That's way cool. Some iconic stuff. Oh, this month. Oh, my God. It's August now. It is. It's we're August 1st. To, yeah. So we're playing on August 17th. So. That's almost 17 days away. That is almost. Almost exactly so. Well, I'm glad <laughs> that, that, uh, that you came to pop us Yeah. First. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, so I'm interested, as somebody who grew up in New York and New Jersey, how you ended up getting into the, uh, the country music. Yes, that's so funny. So I get this question all the time. And for me, like the, the moment that I feel like I connected most to country music was, like I told you, I, was, I did theater growing up. And when I was in college, I got cast at Hershey Park in a country show. And the production company was from Nashville. So our first day of rehearsal, I was like, I don't know how to sing country music. And they're like, girl, try Trust me, you do. And we sat in a circle and they played this playlist of country music ranging from George Strait and Dolly Parton to Carrie Underwood and all contemporary songs that you would hear on the radio and gave us this little lesson in country music. And I just fell in love and connected with the storytelling. Yeah. And then as I got more involved in country music and listening to country music, I kind of realized that I grew up listening to all like these women who were pop country crossovers like Faith Hill, Martina McBride, Shania Twain, which to me, I guess at the time wasn't really country music, but they are all major icons in country music. So and huge fans of the show. Everyone's huge fan of the show. <laughs> I mean, a, a lot of statistically speaking, yeah. I mean, why not, right? 
You got guests like you on here. No. But yeah, no, they're great. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just been something that's been, you know, a part of my life that I didn't even notice until I really like delve into the genre. Now, when you guys perform, are you typically a full live band? We do a little bit of everything, but yeah, we have our, our full live band that we, we play with. Um, and then we also do a lot of acoustic stuff, too. And do you bring theater into your stage performance at all? Um, I think it's theatrical in the sense that it's just high energy, but it's not theatrical in any other way. I mean, we have, when we can, we have like some um, like videos on screens, but it's like videos of things that are related to the storytelling of the song. And lights, of course, always make a show, but it's just a high energy, fun Show. I think maybe we get a little plot in there, you know? No, no, we insert no. Insert some drama, you know? Like maybe, maybe, uh, you know, you get, you, you, you see somebody oh, in the no. audience. No. And you're like, it's you. And then, and then they're like me. And then, and then you go into a whole storyline. That's so funny because we have a song called It's Not Me, It's You. <laughs> <laughs> that we actually it's wrote you. together. It's not me. So what you do is before the song, you point, you point at somebody and you're just like, oh, it's you. And it's then you'll be like, and then you go, into the song and people are like we don't know what's happening but we like it (laughs) I don't know about that but I will definitely take it into consideration okay and if you need somebody for the role of guy yeah (laughs) Yeah. I'll be in the audience and when you point at me that'll be my cue to be pointed at and that's what I'll know (laughs) Christian's like that's so rock and roll we'll see you on the 17th yeah And how long have you guys been playing music together? Um, we actually met um, in a band where I was singing backup, and Christian was playing guitar. So we've been playing music together for like, like five, years, yeah. no, for more than that. Oh, five. I think it was like five or six years, because we've been doing our band yeah. for like a little over three now. So yeah. That's way cool. Yeah. And uh, what is what is next outside of the show circuit? Um, we are getting ready to put out an EP. So Pouring Rain is going to be part of, I, I believe, a four-song EP that's all different styles of ballads. Oh, no, that would be really funny. Though. For seasons. Yeah. Hey, yeah that would have been hilarious. Like yeah. Sun, videos sun like every rain. Season. Yeah. What would it be? Sun, rain. Earth, wind, and fire. Earth, wind, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get a sun, yeah. rain, there's um, nighttime. That's there not go. really a weather. No, it would be rain, <laughs> wind. I didn't school much. Sun, <laughs> fog. Yeah, there's, yeah foggy. Know. It's a, it's a foggy day. A country song, you could do like a something about the desert and it's like. Oh my God, I love that. You just keep putting on a little accent every time you say country. I do it, I do it. <laughs> Airtown talk about country music. Country music. Country music. My, my mom lives down in Texas country and is a huge oh, country go. fan. Yeah. Uh, she's actually the, the only non-fan of the show. But shout out mom. to her. It's, you know what? It's because I do it, so she's, it disappoints her. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, no, so I grew up hearing a lot of Shania Twain yeah. and Dixie Chicks and oh everything. God, I love both of them. I was the only kid in middle school being like, man, I feel like a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Let's oh. go, girls. Come on. Um, all right, so where can people find you on the on the interweb? Yes, you can find me at www.laurendavidsonmusic.com. Lauren Davidson Music on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, Pouring Rain is on every place where you can get music these days. Awesome. So if you're on iTunes or a Spotify or a Google, whatever you do, it's there. And last name Davidson, and you guys are wearing, like, cool biker jackets. Any relation to the motorcycle? No, but I love the motorcycle. Harley, if you're watching. Harley. We, we need um, an, a sponsorship. Yeah. Sponsor them, okay? They got the, they got the jackets. It's we got like, the coolness. I mean, this is turnkey. It's like Christian would love that. Done. If you gave him a motorcycle, he would we'll die. On stage. Oh, yes. my God. See, It'll that's the theatrical. The there you go. Yeah. I'm down. Be like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going out. And then you'll be like, no, don't go, Christian. <laughs> and he'll be like, whatever. I'm just getting on my hog. And, 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 and you're like, you can't go. It's the middle of a show. Can you and play then, one? I'm from Danny Davidson. Danny Davidson. <laughs> I wanted to name Lauren Holly, but her mom wasn't on board. Aw, Danny. Do you know this? Is that Danny's my dad. He actually wrote Pouring Rain with me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Say hi, Danny. Oh, okay. I, that, that's, what I assumed, <laughs> that's what I assumed it was, but then you were like, oh, That Danny. would have been a cool like, name. Yeah. Harley would be. Well, hey, listen, maybe, um, maybe uh, ki- kidnap a, a kid or something. Kidnap a kid and name him Harley. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's other ways to go about it. I don't, I mean, you know, what I mean. I mean 
Yeah, I know. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out, but, you know. <laughs> All right, uh, maybe not kidnapping. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. not, but maybe. Find <laughs> out next time on the stunning conclusion of Pop Does Presents. Thank you guys so much Thank for being here. Thank you so here. much for having us. Bye. <laughs>